Hi guys, we're back with Front Two Ooh. Chat 176. <laughs> we've got Abby here and the lovely Emma. Ding. <laughs> and we've had a really, really busy week, and uh, yeah, we've pretty much been up and down the country. Yes, uh, we had loads of events, I think, all on the same day, yes. both in the north and south. So of course we had the huge Warrington Running Festival and um, that was a huge success. Uh, so well done to everyone that was over there. And then in the south, we were at both Bedford Autodrome, which you were at with multiple distances, with loads of crazy fast people, as well as loads of charity runners, which was great. And then we were also at Runthorpe Park, which was huge in numbers, lots of you there and enjoying the rides after, I presume. Yeah. So yeah, massive well done to you all. I think we're gonna go straight into the Wall of Fame because there's lots of you out there posting, but we just picked a select few just to celebrate all of your wins. So first up here, we had the wonderful Emily and she did the Bedford Autodrome race and she did the 20 miler. So I presume you're training for a really big race and you got a PB, so two hours, 41 and two seconds. So that's for your 20 mile distance. Uh, this photo is really strong, I love it. And uh, yeah, best of luck if you are training somebody else. Nice work, Emma. Well done. And next up we have Kerry, who also joined us at Bedford, who did the 20 miler as well. And she came third lady, which is incredible. After, this is after recovering from a broken rib, which is even oh, more wow. impressive. And just to add to that, I was at Bedford, I can attest to how windy it was. <laughs> it was probably the windiest day I think I've ever had. The wind was everywhere. I think you were all complete heroes for being able to run through that, I'm not gonna lie. So 20 miles after a broken rib and coming third is pretty incredible. So yeah. well done. And if you're training for a marathon, like Emily, good luck. Let us know, wanna see what you're up to. But yeah, well done. Yeah, massive well done, Kerry. <laughs> Next up here we had Dan and he was over at Warrington which I was also at so I probably saw you cross that finish line. You grabbed a PB and it was your first run since your injury or your first race since your injury. So the fact that you came back from injury and grabbed a PB on that course which I know was a little bit hilly, uh, I just think that's incredible Dan. So massive well done to you and we hope we'll see you again. Well Next up, we cross over to Thorpe Park and we have James here who joined us for the 10K. He got himself a PB of 40 minutes, 25 seconds, knocking the best part two minutes off his previous PB, which is a lot. That is amazing. Thorpe Park, it looked it looked amazing. It was like, where else are you going to run between rides like that? Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, well done on your PB. Come back and see us soon for another one. Yeah, massive well done to you, James. So normally we have four people, but we're gonna sneak a little extra here. So we have the wonderful Peter, who we see at pretty much all of the events. I also see him out and about in the wild at other events as well. Bumped into him at Swim Serpentine. I was like, oh, I literally see you every single weekend and now I see you here. So massive well done. I know that you collected your London Classics then as well, but you came and you've raced 200 run-through events. And we, of course, got this uh, 200 bib that you're wearing here. And I have the lovely Laura next to you. And it's just really great to see you. And you've always got wonderful fancy dress. And it's just, yeah, nice to give you a little shout out. Um, I presume that it was all a really good day. It was good. At Bedford. Smashed it, loved the costume. And you're really easy to spot when you're going <laughs> past. Like, right, that's Peter. How many laps has he done? You smashed it. And again, in that wind, incredible. Everyone who raced with us at Bedford, you are incredible. <laughs> Honestly, the windiest event I've ever done. So yeah, you just, you also have a shout out, especially for Peter. 200. Yeah, 200, on to 300 next, eh? Yes, the next one, <laughs> the next one. That's a well done, <laughs> Woohoo! And the business does not stop there. We have got another jam-packed weekend full of events in the north and in the south. In the south, we have got our Hyde Park 5K, 10K on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we've also got our Ron Kent Tunbridge event, which has got 5K, 10K and half marathon on Sunday. Um, and up in the north, we have got our Jarrow 10K, we've got our Tatton 5K and 10K, and we've also got our Rugby half marathon. So lots of events to get involved in, as Emma always says. Get those entries in. Yeah. If you haven't already, come along and join us. And on to medals, my favourite part. So we will start with our Hyde Park medal. So Hyde Park, just there, nice blue ribbon. And then our run at Tunbridge, 5k, 10k, and half marathon. Nice ribbon there. Some nice little ribbon there. As always, take those medal picks, tag us. We want to see you. You might end up here. Use the hashtag, run3uk. Let us know what you've been up to. 
And yeah, good luck if you're racing. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you're racing below. Give us a tag in all of those post-race photos and we'll see what you get up to next week. Yeah. So best Exciting. of luck. Good luck. And we're going to finish off with a wonderful quote. I've opened the book and landed on this, so let's hope for the best. It's uh, a good one. <laughs> The distance is nothing, it is only the first step that is difficult. So just going to repeat that one more time. So the distance is nothing, it is only the first step that is difficult. I like that one. Very apparent. It's another good one for just general and running. Mm. So take that with you this weekend if you're racing. There we go. First step is the hardest, but once you're on that path, just got to keep moving forward. Exactly. One step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Another quote from us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> see you later, guys.